All right, session started. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Highlander here, and welcome to the, the latest episode of DS3 D&D with a question mark. I have been exhaustedly drained by my campaigner's stupidity. Let the why don't we get let them why don't I let them introduce themselves again? No. I am Dylan, and I'll be playing up dog. Okay, that's <laughs> all right. In our previous episode, I honestly haven't finished editing yet to see where we cut, where we ended up cut, where the or where the recording ended up cutting off. So, quick recap: They went to Lothric. They they fought some shit. They died. They respawned, and they fought some more shit. And now they're and now they've somewhere. <laughs> Uh, right, they are currently low. There, right. When we last left off, they were under. They were inside a building, building, and were fighting three, three people. One of which who is dead. And the and one more is still die, and one more is currently dying. So we, if we will, we will now rebegin the campaign now. Uh, could you guys please re roll me a new initiative? Oh, one. <laughs> nine. Alright. Nine, nine, nine. Six and twelve. Okay. So, guy who is near- guy who is near death is gonna go first. He is go- Uh... Any chance you guys could tell? Any chance you guys remember your positions? Or nope. all right, I don't remember what my name is. Some days. Eh, for you, man, that's not surprising. No offense. <laughs> Whoa. No, no, hold it. Only offense. Yeah, yeah. I have a bad memory. I'm owning it. Uh, okay. Uh, Quay, you were in front, so he's gonna go for you. He is going to rush. He's going to. St He's going to rush at you with his dagger. Let's see if that hits. Nineteen. That hits. Um, if you can, if you can roll for dodge, though, then he'll it will miss. Though you're going to need to roll a twenty. <laughs> no, well, I rolled a thirteen. All right, you failed to dodge. Uh, he go, he goes at you and stabs you in, stabs you in the area between your shoulder and your neck. Deal one damage. Alright, up dog, my good man. Your dogginess is now up next. I don't know why I said that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I am going to attack whoever's closest to me. That would be the guy who just attacked Way. Well, I'm. Wait. Way in it. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna use my sword and stab him in the back. Oh, and I should roll attack or something. Yes. <laughs> um. Wait. 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 So you're gonna need to roll a dexterity check because you're literally running behind him to stab to stab him in the back. Uh, okay, that's a six. Ah, uh, you don't succeed in that one, but you can still attack. Yep, I will continue to attack. All right, uh, roll roll strength then for me. A d20 on its own? Uh, yep. Oh god, even lower, 3. Ay, 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 okay, you... As you hurl... As you strike down with your sword, you unfortunately miss your mark. It's now the healthy... It's now the healthy guy's turn. And he is going to attack you, Updog. Alright, if you can roll over 12, here you can dodge. 20. 
All right, you dodge. As this man attack goes at you with his dagger, dagger, you successfully step back out of his reach. Quinn, you're up. Roll strength and roll strength to pick him up, and then roll precision. Okay, do you successfully pick him up? Precision to hit your target. It should be should already exist. You mean perception? No. Uh, yeah. Shit. My bad. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, just roll another. Just roll another strength. Okay. Ooh, you successful. <laughs> As you pick up the ma pick up the man who just stabbed you, he stabbed you. All you can all you can see in his eyes is confusion and then fear as you hur as you hurl him to towards your friend. Uh, roll two d roll two d six. Okay. One. Four. All right. Uh, who do you want to damage who? The kneeling dying guy will die if you give him one one HP, one attack. Um, I will the, the healthy guy. Healthy guy for what? Oh, um, four, I guess. Okay, so yep, as you, as you hurl hurl this man at his friend friend, both of them die die upon impact of one of each other. The combat is now over. <laughs> I swear, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, can both of you roll me a d20? Oh, four. Okay. None of you find. None of you. Neither of you find anything. Anything from these bodies. I'm just gonna go to the, the bathroom. All right. Don't do this so early. That's eh, fine. We. This is basically one of those parts where we can say anything we want because I'm just gonna edit it out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh. I know, right? The disrespect. I know, right? Yeah, it's all artificial these days. Oh, 
one? Okay. Get Mega Man MT Warrior. No, I'm not a big Mega Man fan. Dang it. It's one of the best. Sorry? Um, the Mega Man games on the GBA is one of the best ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I played Mega Man X on the SNES, and yeah, I didn't really enjoy it. The GBA ones don't actually do any of the original um, how do you say, it's, it's, to it's totally different to what the other Mega Man games are. Okay. I don't really know any other Ma GBA games that are really that popular. a good one. Don't tell Re don't tell Reese you have it. Why? You already knows. Oh. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to shove the Pokemon games down your throat. Why? <laughs> well it's a go well the GBA has both has the original the originals re remaster of Pokemon, of Pokemon, and it has F Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Oh well, I mean, Reese wouldn't do that anyway because he, he knows I hate Pokemon. <laughs> hmm. Fair enough. I play Pokemon Go every day. I play. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, all right. <laughs> shall we can? All right. Shall we? All right. After the fee after the ba after the previous battle, you both you both take a breath and to look and to real look around and to take in your surroundings. Can both of you roll a perception? Yes. Oh wait. Seven. Perception. Seven. Oh, so I got negative one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As you are looking around, suddenly, Updog's vision becomes blurry, and then it keeps getting blurrier until until it gets to the point that that you, he can see literally nothing. And he, he has gone blind. He is now blind until further notice. <laughs> uh, Quinn, you don't see a, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Though you do see a hallway, a hallway in front of you. Hang on, we need to consider. I have a feeling that place we passed earlier had a checkpoint near it or a bonfire. What do you say we go back? Sure. <laughs> I don't know how I knew that. Uh, Quinn, you're going to have to guide your friend here. I will do. <laughs> no, I'll, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a strong lady. I'll, I'll carry him. Okay. <laughs> a strong, independent woman. And uh, I would normally have your role for that, but considering it's you, I'm just gonna let you do that. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, just some people have to roll to be a strong, independent woman? You just said I didn't. Yeah, but he said normally. Uh, not the joke, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you <laughs> said. All right. So where you so you pick up up dog? Or where are you where are you gonna go? I'm going back the way we came, like we said. All right. As you walk up the steps you came from, you suddenly feel that pulling urge once again. Yeah, I'll follow it. Okay. Uh. 
in the room you are currently in, you see two doorways. The door, the doorway you came through, and then there's another door, doorway, to, doorway beside it. Uh, yeah, sure, the pull is coming from the doorway you haven't gone through before. Sorry, you got up, what did you say? The pulling is coming from the door you haven't got, the, the doorway you haven't gone through before. Okay, I'll go through that one. Alright. On the other side, you find a set of step, set of stairs that lead to an open area. And in that area, you find a bonfire! Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. As you as you touch it, su sudden suddenly ashes start start swirling ar swirling around up do up dog's head specifically, and his eyes and his eyesight has been restored. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're really not at full. Thing. You are not at full health. You have you have to rest at the bonfire to get full health. Um, rest. Yeah, rest. Yeah. Okie dokie. Also, quick up uh, while while they're resting. Quick update for the campaign. Campaign. I do. I realized that maybe having all the enemies respawn respawn after each time they rest might be a little too. Well, on the, and might get a little repetitive, so I do apologize to any of our viewers who don't like it that, who liked it that way and are no longer interested, but it's, it'll make, it'll try to, it'll keep the campaign a little fresher, so, any, so back to the campaign. <laughs> uh, you, bo you both, uh, you both feel rejuvenated and rested and your HP is now full again, and more importantly, Updog can see again. So what would you guys like to do now? Um, is there a way out of this room other than the way we came in? Uh, no. You are actually at the top, at the top of this building. It's a, you're basically on the rooftop now. Uh, though, there, though, there is a door, a door, another doorway behind you. Alright, uh, which way do you look towards? Do you look towards the castle, or do you look towards the other side? Um, I guess we could just try both. <laughs> um, I guess castle first. Okay, sure thing. As you look over the castle, as you look over that side of the castle, you f you see the corpse of a dra of a wyvern. As well, image time. as well as some as well as some as well as a few pi pictures as well as a few pi few more bil buildings and the buildings besides a giant church with a church with a stained glass win window. Okay. As you look, as you look on the other side of the castle, you see that this you you suddenly realize where you are. This entire time, you've been on the wall. You've been you've been running around on the walls of a of a giant fortress. And uh, and uh, and these walls are so high that you can barely see the bottom. Though though in the distance, you do see a village. Though it's so faint that you can't that you can't see anything else. Damn, it's Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't come from the village, right? Uh, no. no. Okay. Um, should we try going that way? If we can. Do it. <laughs> yeah, let's try going that way. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not so funny when I'm doing it, huh? That was hilarious. <laughs> Do you 
want to hear another joke? No. That there was a dra- now there was a dragon that hated a person called Vernon. So someone asked him why Vern. Okay. So where are you do you guys want to go exactly? Um yeah, we're gonna go from this rooftop. Um, there are two ways you can go. The the way the back the way you came or you could try to break open the door, the closed door. Okay, both of you roll strength for me. Sixteen. Fourteen. Okay, you but bu- you successfully but break open open the door. And inside this r- inside this room, you find a something that looks very similar to where. You, to when you first got teleported to this place. Just a, ro- a room only this time. There is a person there praying to the cu- praying to the giant chalice with the br- with the wooden sword in it. The man raises his head, his head, and look, and turns around to look at you. Please leave me be. I only wish to pray for, pray. I do not cause you, I do, I am not causing the night any trouble. Please let me continue to pray. Let's kill him. Jesus Christ! Oh, no. Nah, nah, nah. Just joking. Just joking. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Leave him be, let him pray. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's made himself clear. Um, I think okay. he's pretty solid. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. I'm throwing your, your game with that joke. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh okay, 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 sorry, yeah, yeah, I guess we'll go back. But do we want to observe the, the, uh, was it they was praying to? You can do that if you want. If you want. <laughs> Let's go yeah. around. Let's observe, so, perception. <laughs> I've got a negative four modifier. Do you want me, I'll, I'll, I'll refer to it. Alright, I got an eight, which means I got a four. Ooh, I'm not blind today. Um, hold up, my perception is minus three, though. It's 16, though. <laughs> okay. Um, you both, uh, you both take a look at the, look at the urn that the man is praying to, and it, it doesn't seem any different than to what the other urn, than the other urn, it's like, chalice, why did I say urn? To the other chalice that that you first looked upon when you were teleported here. The only real difference is there's not as much ash in this one. We want to find out our secret treasures. We're gonna have to earn it. Uh, while you are observing it, the man takes note takes notice of you again. 
Why are you, why are you so curious? Are you not with the Loth, are you not with the Lothric Knights? Surely you must realize what your punishment will be if they find you lurk, you lurking around here. Then, you're not with the knights? I guess not. <laughs> I think so. Upon hearing that, he has a sigh of relief. Ah, oh, I am grateful. Uh, well, I'm up, Doug. A pleasure to meet you. I am Finn. These look. Uh, uh. That's it. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm Quinn. How's it going? <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet you both. It's not. It's not every day you you find a friendly face here. Especially after the, what those two princes have done. You don't know? <sighs> I suppose then you must be you must have just arrived here recently then. It's a Yeah, you can say that. We we've, we've we've both been pretty confused since we got here. We like woke up from the dead, I guess. We we don't really remember anything before that. He suddenly ba he suddenly stepped. He suddenly lifts his body out, but still on his knees. You rose from the dead? Then... It can't be. The bell. The bell. Are you... Are you unkindled ash? Upon hearing you say, I don't know, he lowers himself again. I see. Well, if you don't know, then there's nothing I can do. Perhaps if I pray more, then maybe they will come. He looks at you and th he looks at you and then looks at and then looks down as if he's thinking. Uh, the pa the path that will used to be that yeah, used to take you to the village where was destroyed by the princes to stop any unkindled ash from coming. The only way the only way to get out of the out of this entire this forsaken kingdom now is to is through the through the imps of the banner you will need to if you go down to the church there is an old there is an old lady by the name of Emma don't do not mention anything about the about unkindled ash otherwise they, they will see you as an enemy Yes, don't say no. anything about that. Okay. If you if you seek if you seek to exit exit, she will give you a banner that will let you leave. Okay. Well, I guess we better get a story straight, <laughs> up dog. Well, there's you don't have to have a straight story. Nothing wrong with having lift of curves every now and then. Yeah, and that joke didn't really land, did it? <laughs> anyway, let's go find Emma. Yeah. And we, we might as well uh, kill this guy, seeing as we got all the information we needed. No. Yeah, I'm Sorry. just joking. You, you, you're gonna have to excuse him. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm not saying this. I know. I'll speak in my Irish voice.
always fun to my character. Um, so, we've got everything we've found here. Do you want to go find Emma? Yeah, no, I, I feel more comfortable if we had some kind of story we can tell these guys. Um, if they uh, start questioning things, you know. Um, we don't rem remember anything, and that's quite true, because we don't remember anything before it rose from the dead. Yeah, it might be better if we, if we straight up can't answer that, but like... Uh, okay. Maybe... Okay, I, I, I face the man again. I say, I'm sorry to bother you again, but is there any other, like, civilization or, like, villages other than that one over there that are, like, semi-nearby? Um, he looks up at you again and then looks back down, down as he, as if he's thinking. <clears throat> and he says, Unfor unfortunately, I can't say. The lands of, the lands have been shifting so often lately that it's, that the village, that the villi very village outside may not be, may not be there for very long. Unfortunately, I can't say. Okay. I've grown up in this city all my life. I, you, it used to be such a lovely place. Every a city built entirely for serving the, for, a, for serving a purpose. But then those princes, those damned princes, bloody destroy a like legacy of a nation. Of a kingdom. Why? Why? As it, as he stops talking and he he begins to slow down his breathing and calms back down. I apologize. Uh, sorry, I guess. Um... There's no need to apologize. No, they don't. bows his head. I wish you the best of luck, even if you are not who I, who I pray for. So you go back. So you go back down to where, to where you were previously, and you find you find. No, so you're gonna go back down to the second one again. Okay. Uh, you arrive back to where you defeat the three, the group of three men, and you, you. Okay. Can you guys give me another perception check? Nine. 
fine. Oh, so close. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um, Updog, you only really see, you still only see the doorway ahead, but Quinn, you take notice of the hole in the back, in the back behind you, where a la you notice, oh, sorry, I'm stuttering, you notice a ladder behi behind you, only besides the staircase, that leads to another level below. As you go down the la ladder, you take, you get, you enter into another area where there is, there seems to be one person, one person carrying, carrying a halberd, guarding a doorway. You are both facing behind him. He does not notice you. Doorway. There are. Yes. Okay. Is, is, we're, we're still in, like, uh, the castle. Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um. What are you thinking of, dog? Could we sneak up behind him and stab him with a sword? him and try to stab him with my sword. Roll stealth. Yeah. Stealth and other negative four modifier. Oh my goodness. Why am I so negative? Uh, ten. Uh, yeah, with the modifier it's ten. Oh, okay, well that succeeds. You successfully r roll up Get up close to him and backstab him. Roll uh, with your. What did you use to attack? Um, my sword. Okay, roll a uh, 1d6. Two. The man screams out in pain and falls to the ground. Ground, but is still. But, but you can tell he's still alive because he's trying. Because his arms moving around to try and get himself back up while trying to grab his weapon. Hello. Yep. So, so he's, he's trying to get back up. Yes. Um. I'm gonna run in and gang up on him. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Roll Dex. Okay, roll dex and then roll strength. Uh, eight. Dexterity. Dex, 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 uh, since the distance isn't actually that l that far, and you th you actually do succeed. Instead of kicking him, you accidentally kick kick the wall as hard as you can, and you now have a stubbed toe. Shit. Big three damage. <laughs> three damage? When, when I got stabbed in the shoulder before, and I only did one damage. <laughs> yeah, stubbed toe hurts, man. A stubbed toe hurts, man. Damn, when are they getting stabbed in the shoulder? Heaven's <laughs> uh, <laughs> mute. Alright, the guy has now gotten back up, and you guys need, will now need to roll for initiative. 
Seventeen. Seems even. <laughs> okay. The guy is now going to swing at you with his halberd. Both of you. Oh, okay. Let's see. But he misses. Into, but he didn't realize how small the doorway is and hit, and instead just hits the door, hits the stone. And knocks himself back. Uh, up dog, your turn. I am once again going to run in with my sword and stab him uh, in the chest. Roll strength. Yep, strength. Where my. Where I don't have a negative modifier. <laughs> Four. Four. That fails. As you run in, to, as you run in towards him, you do not, you don't, you fail to e measure up the right amount of distance. Gwyn. What are you gonna do? Yeah, your move. Oh, oh, I think you cut off for a second. Yeah, okay. Oh, um, sorry, dude. No, 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 all good. Um, let's see. I'm gonna... Let's see, he, he just, like, kind of stumbled back into the wall, right? Uh, he... He ended up accidentally hitting the wall with his halberd, and it caused him to... And it caused him to knock himself back a little. Basically. Is there a door? <laughs> no. Damn, okay, I can't head slam him in the door. Um, Alright, well, I'll, I'll do the next best thing. I, I'll, I'll try and grab him and slam his head into the door frame. Roll strength. Seventeen. That hits! <laughs> You successfully grab the man by the head and slam him into the door. Roll doorway. Roll 1d6. He is dead. Can both of you roll a d20 for me? Not 20. <laughs> Up top. Five. Okay. <laughs> only, only Quinn sees this, but you are now able to pick up his halberd. Alright, what level are you? I am... Good question. Yeah, I'm having trouble finding my level. Yeah, I don't see a level. I thought you... <laughs> Didn't you guys write it down? I wasn't aware we were making levels. Hey, oh, shit. Uh -huh. I've got nothing here. Okay, that's all right. That's probably on me then. Uh, we'll forget about that then. Uh, Quinn, your halberd is able to do one d eight. Okay. Eight. All right. I'm gonna stop just using my fists. I mean, I have the cell swords, but. <laughs> yes, you're a mercenary, and yet you fight with your bare hands. And for some reason, do more damage that way. Anyway, okay. So in front of you is now. All right. So in front of you is now a whole. Is now a hallway. Hallway. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's go down the hallway. Yep. All right. As you go on, as you go on further ahead, you fi you find two things. In front of you, there is a dead body, and to your right is a is another hallway. Uh, I want to inspect the dead body. All right, roll for me. Just roll or perception? 
Uh, just roll. Oh, okay, tough. Oh, sweet. You find a mail breaker. It's a variant of a rapier. It does 1d4 damage, but if you do, but if you get 20, it has a critical of 6. Um, yeah, sure, I'll take the meal breaker. Alright, just write down the critical part for me. Okay, so meal, so hang on, meal break, and... If I get a d20, it was, no, sorry, if I get a 20, it was 1d8, did you say? No, okay. It's a one. It's a one d four, but if you get if you roll a twenty on the on the attack, you you add six to that. Oh, okay. Right. Just find a way to write that down in my notes. Um, twenty plus six to damage, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what do you guys want to do now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. As you go down the hallway, you find a little, a small open area, and then a jail cell. There appears to be a hooded, ma a hooded man. No. Um, not a hooded man, a masked man with sitting with his legs crossed in the corner of a cell. He looks wise, like maybe he's a wise prisoner and he's sitting cross-legged. Yeah, he's too wise for his own good, let's kill him. He's in his cell. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, we'll open up the cell then, kill him. As you attempt to open the cell, you realize that the door is locked. Okay, well, that was to be expected. Um, uh, yo. Uh, a hooded man. Hmm. You're no jailer, are you? He, he suddenly stands up and walks towards the bars. A mudslide. Hazy memory, but the bell. You're unkindled ash, aren't you? Uh, I'm sorry, what? No? I know no, a lie when I... unkindled ash. I know a lie when I, when I hear one, boys. Whatever mudslide you're talking about is full of crap. Yeah, they usually pour mud. <laughs> Jesus Christ, same Tell me, could you perhaps get me out of this cell? I'll make it worth your while. Oh, you know, stealing from nobility, that sort of stuff. I just want to point out, this person has accused us of lying. Do we really want to let them out of their cell? They rightfully... <laughs> Though, um... But they might still be dangerous. Yeah... Maybe 
maybe we can keep talking to them. Yeah, we we want to we want to know who exactly we're letting out here. Uh, I am Grey Rat the Thief. I made myself I made myself known for for stealing stealing from the wealthy around here and giving it giving it to the villa to the village outside the walls. Um, can, I, can I try and sense if he's lying at all? Okay, but I'm going to have to give you a minus two for that, because he is wearing a mask, so you can't count on facial features. Yep, fair enough. Alright, give me a d- go, go for a d20. Okay. Oh, four. <laughs> uh, you can't tell anything. You can't tell if he's lying or telling the truth. Used. You're trying to check if he's lying, but isn't he? Can't we see he's sitting cross legged? Yeah. What's up? He's cross legged. He isn't lying down. <sighs> Moving on. You've opened up a locked door this session, so... It's not... Oh yeah, we can just force it open. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, actually, if we're gonna try and kick this down, I want to check the bars in the door for any rusted or weakened spots. Uh, roll perception? Okay, as you are looking around, suddenly your vision goes black again, and you've got, and now Quinn has gone blind for the, for the, for, until next turn. Well, up dog, it appears I can't see, you're gonna have to check for me So what were we checking again? Perception. Get anything in particular? Uh, to see if the bars are rusted. Alright, the bars the bars are rusted. Okay, I've got nine. Um, as you the bars are the bars the the While you were do while you were doing this, the gray rat look gray rat is very looks very puzzled on what you're trying to do. What are you okay. boys planning? Okay, gray rat, you might want to stand back a little bit. Upon hearing that, he suddenly puts two and two together and backs the hell away from the wall <laughs> from the from the bars. <laughs> Roll strength. <laughs> Fifteen. 
Gwen, I didn't hear yours. Oh, sorry, uh, Dirty 22. Okay. I you said 30.2. <laughs> That's what I heard too. <laughs> okay. Uh, you both kick the bars and s and they go flying, flying off and and at and accidentally hit Grey Rat, who's who was on the other side of the cell. Uh, I guess you didn't think of that. You all right? <laughs> you, basically, what you guys have done is you have made his cell even smaller. Oh, we just kicked it, like, further in. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but but that cool. was temporary. <laughs> the, the, bar, the iron bars are off their hinges now. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll just try and, like... Oh, I guess I can't technically see that. <laughs> oh, dog, tell me, tell me that the bars are... Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, it has actually been... A, it, it has basically been a turn, so with a few blinks, Quinn, your eyesight has returned and you have seen the horror you have committed. <laughs> Since the bars are already technically broken, you don't need to do anything. Okay. I mean, you don't need to roll for anything. Uh, as you remove the bars and free Grey Rat from his even smaller prison, he he suddenly he exhales in relief and says, "Bly, my, by the gods, I wasn't expecting that." Still, though, you have my thanks. I say once again, my name is Grey Rat, and I'm in your debt. Alright. He's in our debt. Sweet. about the village down there. Ah, uh, it's a it's a shallow place. It's been f forgotten by the forgotten by the people here who live here. Now nowadays it's all just the church of nowadays all, the only faith they have is the church. But even but even that one's sacrificial. That's honestly not that surprising. The bell only rang a few, rang a few hours ago, so that's honestly I was honestly I didn't even think I'd meet one of you, one of you. Uh, to sum, to summarize, we will need to go a little further back. Okay. Uh, in order, Lothric, Lothric itself were, was a nation bit. Built on creating a ruler to link, a strong ruler to link the fire. In order, in order, however, and the royal family produced two princes. However, the first pr prince, Prince Lorien, had become crippled and was unfit to link the flame. So everything was uh, was reliant on his, on the second prince, Prince Lothric. But Prince, Prince Lothric somehow developed an ideology against linking the flame. And so he made a decree that he would not link the flame and huh, and cursed out and cast out all who all who dared oppose him. He even went so far as to destroy the very bridges co that connected Lothric, Lothric to the outside world. 
it's truly. Uh, so, in so in order to try and prevent prevent an age of dark, the shrine keepers, so to speak, revived the four four of the previous lords who linked the fire and in who knows how long ago. However, however, those four those four lords refused to link the fire again. But honestly, can you blame them? To link the fire, you're literally burning yourself alive to be to become fuel for this fire. You, I doubt you'd want to do it again. And well, that's where you come in. Unkindled ash. You're the last, the last resort. The last resort. Someone who who tried to link the fire but failed. You've been summoned to drag those, to drag the, to drag these elven, these lords of Cinder, Cinder, to back to, back to the fire, to prevent one, to prevent another one from ha happening. Finally, someone told me. <laughs> right. Have you not been to the file to, to the Firelink Shrine? Have we? Surely they. I think so. Hmm. How peculiar. That's where the bell. Usually, that's where the bell tolls. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Well, at first, well, initially they they were they weren't always hostile. Though they though they though they are now, I'm afraid I'm afraid the ch the religion that's recently been swooping in to, in there is high um isn't again is high isn't really favorable for the linking so. I guess they would most likely be hostile. Gotcha. Alright. Guess we're sticking with our uh, camp story. Grey Rat Sun. Grey Rat Sun. As Grey Rat finally st gets onto his feet, he, he asks you both a question. May I ask? Uh, may I ask for a selfish request? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Please allow me to to accompany you at, le at least until we get to the village. I have some. I have someone there who I must see. Who I must see. Sure. Oh, thank you, truly. <coughs> do, 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 do. Grey Rat has joined your party. Okay. Oh. Rat carrying my star. No. <laughs> All right. So who wants who wants to take him take control of Grey Rat during during fights? His weapons um, are he has a dagger and a buckler. Let's see. Um, I'll control. Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, could you add that to your character sheet, please? Yep. Uh, Grey Rat. Just ignore him. <laughs> uh, this bloody thing. There we go. Wait, no, grey hat, not grey hat. Although he might be wearing a grey hat. He is not. He's wearing a giant mask that that covers both his head and his face. Also, 
or buckler. Is that a type of sword? It's a type of shield. Uh, okay. Basically, a buckler is like the smallest th shield you can have. So, um, besides the cell, this room was a dead end, right? Correct. Um, you've already been, you've already, someone's already answered that question for you, dude. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So. Do you want to ask him? Nah, nah. Okay. We'll just follow her past instructions. Alright. Uh, so you're gonna go back up to the other doorway? Yeah. Alright, cool. You're, all three of you make make the rigorous journey back to where you came from, <laughs> and you and you now find and through the doorway you now find yourselves next to the tail of a wyvern corpse and a ladder. Wyvern tail? Yes. That wasn't there before? Or was it? <laughs> yes, it was there. Oh. Yeah, I think it was. Um... I want to inspect the wyvern. Alright, um... Like, like how it died, if there's anything near it, or whatever. Alright, upon inspecting the wyvern... Oh, uh, give me a perception. Yeah, you can't tell any. You can't figure out how it died. Okay. There's nothing more I can really do, I guess. Uh, nope. Uh, do you guys want to go down the ladder? This ladder goes down. Uh, I guess we do. <laughs> yep. okay. Uh, okay. You now find yourselves atop of a rooftop to that to a building rooftop where you find a group of people pre praying to praying to a burning praying to to a burning body. Let's see. From that area, you find us. You find a. All right. As you walk past them, you find yourself. You find yourselves to another ladder. However, however, from this view, you can actually see a small courtyard down the bottom. 
and you don't even need a perception check to see this thing. You see... What's down the bottom you cut off? I haven't said anything. Oh, okay. Um, at the bottom of the courtyard, you see a giant knight wheel wielding a massive glaive patrolling in a circle amongst a pile of corpses. Suddenly you hear Grey Rat say, that's one of the Fallen Angel Guards. Hi. A guy, one of, one of the knights who, one of the angel knights who have lost their wings and, wings. Believe me, they're a for, believe me, they're a force to be reckoned with. But if you stick, but if you stick to that circled store of yours, maybe you can get past them. That, that so-called story of yours. Oh, right. Okay. Um, alright. Everyone, um, act lost. I guess. Yeah. Like, kind of like, oh. <laughs> um, uh, like, uh, I want to go down the ladder, like, kind of act surprised and seeing him. Oh, excuse me. Uh, going down the ladder doesn't actually take you to where that knight is. Oh, okay. It instead, it takes you to two. It, it it takes you to two options. You can go to the. You can go to the left, or you can go into a door, into a doorway where an where there is another another knight. Not the same type of knight, but the knight you fought previously. You know, the one that you're restrained using five of your arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, the same exact knight, or just the same type of knight? Same type of knight. Ah, okay. I thought we went in a huge circle. Depends. What's your goal? Like I said, there's no way to get out of the village without scaling the wall. No way to get into the village. Uh, cake. Okay, time out. Remember what? Remember what Finn said? You need to get the banner to banner to get to the village. Oh right, right, yeah. So, I need to find Emma. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. We we need to find Emma. Sorry. He looked. He looks at you. Oh, ah! If you're looking for Emma, she'll be in the church. She'll be in the church. In that case, we should. In that case, we need to get down to that courtyard. From there, it's an e from there, it's an easy straight line to it. Now there, I'm going to give you the option here. You can jump straight down into the courtyard. Or you could try and find another way. Uh, I think it's okay. I think it'll be too risky if we try and jump down, because if anyone sees us doing that, they're gonna know we're ath too athletic to have been in just been in a, in a mudslide. <laughs> or it'll be, we'll die because it's like that time in Firelink Shrine you try to jump down to Blight Town. <laughs> So you plan to, so you wish to approach the knight? Yeah, and like act like really frazzled and like, like I'm trying to appear and I, I guess like, I don't know what I'm not going to do, but uh, I'm trying to act as like, I'm not as threatening as possible. Like I'm like, oh, I'm confused, I don't know where I am. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah. A person who has blood on their hands, carrying two cell swords and a halberd. When you were out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You approach the knight and, until he takes notice of you and says, Who goes there? I am a knight in serving. I am a knight in service of Lothric. State your name. Uh, you, you see, we're we're kind of having a bit of issues right now. Um, well, my my name is Quinn. Um, you, you see, we were we were camping, and we we were really stupid, and we did it on the cliffside got caught up in a mudslide, and, uh, I don't know, my memory's really hazy right now, but, like, we, we just want to get back to the village, um, would it be okay if we, if we pass? Hmm. Uh, I see your village likes to, likes to protect convicts, does it? Pointing at Grey Rat. Grey Rat was was Grey Rat's a well known thief from stealing from Lothric. Yeah, I, I, I know. Uh, um, I'm sorry, we we wait. I, I like you know face Grey Rat. I'm like, wait, you're you're convict. He looks at you puzzled. Yes, I told you. sees you winking and and he and he discreetly gives you the thumbs up okay. he 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 approaches the he approaches the knight on his knee knees and says please sir you must believe me I am not I am not the man you think I am I don't know who this gray rat is I truly don't Hello? Yep. Uh, well, I, I, you, you approached the man and did that, right? I, I yes. Was he was going to respond in some way. Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm... <sighs> okay. The knight, look, the knight looks down, down at Grey Rat as, he, as he's kneeling, and then looks towards you two. What is this man's name? I see. Tell me, White Mouse. What is your... Do you have the same amnesia as your friends here? Yes. I... Yes, sir. I do. I do. Mm. And yet all... And yet all three of you have... Are able to remember your names. He yeah, looks at so Quinn. Can can you explain that? I said we had holes in our memory, not that I had amnesia. Hmm. Well, you don't appear to be hollow, so that's fine. But I'm watching you, Mr. White Mouse. What? He then turns back to Quinn. You said you needed help. And what help is it that you need? We just need to get to a village. We've been lost in the woods. And, and like, like I kind of like shudder. I'm like, we heard the bell. We, we don't want to be out there. 
If you are scared of the bell, then there is no safer place than Lothric. No unkindled shall come through these walls. Grey Rat ch chimes in. Uh, yes, you are completely right, sir. But still, we shudder at the thought. Is there a church nearby where we may f where we may find sanctuary to rest our minds? Are you two going to chime in on this? Um, yes, actually. <laughs> okay, it's time. Um, I, 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 I kind of like look behind the knife. And I, I say, wait, White Mouse, who's that guy that looks j just like you? The, ni the knight looks at you as if surprised by his statement and then turns around. Okay, a cop kick up! <laughs> <laughs> Roll strength. 17! Okay, holy crap. <laughs> you successfully dropped the cake, then, man. Do you, give me a 1d6. 3. Alright. You drop kick the man and he falls to the gr falls to the ground and his <laughs> face first. <laughs> but he's not dead. Okay. I've got to do something. <laughs> yeah, um before he gets up, I run over to his head and just drop my sword down into his skull. Okay, roll strength. Alright, uh, as you try to thru thrust it, thrust into his, thrust your sword into his head, your sword is unable to pierce his helmet. It's okay, Dylan, you, you, you still have Grey Rat. What are you gonna have uh, Grey Rat do? Yes, let's have a look at this thing of a jigger. Um, he, Grey Rat is gonna drop his dagger into the guy's head. <laughs> okay, uh, give me a strength. Yep. Eight. Also fails. Oh well. Wow. Grey Rat's dagger is unable to pier pierce his, pierce his helmet, e even, uh, okay. By this point, the knight is beginning to regain his compo composure, and now sees you boys as a threat. Okay. Do we get to attack again, though? No. Roll initiative. Gotcha. Nineteen. Ten. Uh, Abdog also roll for Grey Rat. Seventeen. Alright, cool. All of you Quinn goes first. Okay, I'm gonna get the halibird out for once. <laughs> um and just try and charge and just stab him through the stomach. Alright, roll strength. I need your I need a high number for this one. Let's see, give me a moment, give me a moment. And that works, okay. Give me a d10 of damage. Wasn't it a d8? Yes, a d8 of damage. Eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you successfully thrust your halberd into the man and and, right, and lift him up lift him up as he slowly bleeds bleeds out. <sighs> Can both of you ro roll for me? Roll a d20 for me? 9. 16. And... 
And Updog, since you have Grey Rat with you, you get a plus two. Ah, so 18. Yep. So, uh, well, Quinn doesn't find anything on the person. You find his entire armor set. His entire what? You find... You find the man's armor. Oh. Was your current AC? <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, just just drink water the wrong way. So wait, what AC? Did you say? Yes. What's your AC? I don't have that on my character sheet. Oh, I'm a class. I'm yes. A blank. <laughs> That's blank. Okay. Uh, up Actually, to... we, did, we did put in armor classes, though, because I have armor class. Yeah. Uh, okay, g um, up to... Quinn, give me your armor... What's your armor class real quick? Five. Okay. Um, let's see... I had that written down somewhere. God, I wrote these notes the wrong way. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, okay, well, now you do have an armor class. Up to you have an armor class armor class of seven. Seven. Fuck. Oh, uh, wait, no, it's an armor class of five. My bad. Five. Five, alright. Five, there we go. Okay. That's with the armor on, right? Sorry? That's after I've put the armor on, right? Yep. Yeah. So, okay. what do you want to do with your old clothes? Uh, I assume I was going like, to keep them on underneath, or would that no. make me heavy or overheat me or something? No, you can only put one armor set on. You could give them. T okay, uh. Alright, so, time. Quick time out, because I, I, I was only going to explain this when you actually ended up getting allies, but you can get, um, like Dragon Age Origins, you can give your allies ar armor, armor sets, or, uh, or other weapons that you find. So, uh, so currently, uh, he, Grey Rat, doesn't have any armor on. Do you want some? Do you want my old armor? He, lo uh, he looks at you and says, "What armor? This is cloth. It's uh, perfect for me. It's perfect." Ah, good. I don't need all that heavy armor keeping slowing me down. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, what do you want to do? So. What do you want to do now? Alright, um... Now that the knight's not guiding us, I guess we'll have to guide ourselves. Yeah, um... Actually, what, what other pathways are in this area? Alright, let's see, um, there's an, so currently the place you're in looks like an, looks like a place for eating, and uh, up ahead you find, you see an, you see another door, you see another hallway of some kind. Is there any food left over? 
Unfortunately, there is no food left in this room. As you go down the hallway, you find you find a giant, you you find what appears to be a kitchen area as well as a blacksmithing area. Filled to the filled to the brim with gut with with uh, with those strange hollow soldiers. Also, uh, as well. Also down there, there appears to be, you fi you also see dogs, but they, but they look, but they look de dead inside. They have fleas, flies surrounding them, and and their jaws look covered in blood. No, not those knights. You know the uh, the guys you fought before you first fought. Oh right, okay. Oh no. Yep. All right, so so they're the ones that can't really be reasoned with. They're just like kind of zombies. Yep, pretty much. Okay. All right. No need for the ruse. I was gonna do. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Just kill the holders. I guess we just try and get through them, yeah. Mm. Grey Rat steps back. I'm not very good with good with this much with this much confrontation. I'll provide support as much as I can, but don't expect too much. for battle these guys will be going head to head in the next session <laughs>